Hello everyone, with the Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Saturday evening, August 12, 2023. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what the weather has been like in your year recently. Also, feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific era. I respond to all comments and I really live for this stuff. Alright, so let us take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening. We can see that across the main Divama region and the Caribbean, we have a total of three tropical waves. One tropical wave that's about to affect portions of Central America, including Nicaragua and Honduras. One tropical wave that's affecting portions of the Eastern Caribbean right now. And this tropical wave is also interacting with an upper level trough of low pressure. And we can also see another tropical wave right there off the west coast of Africa. If we take a look at the visible satellite images before the sun went down, we can see the clouds associated with that tropical wave across the Western Caribbean. That's now bringing showers and thunderstorms to sections of Honduras and Nicaragua. We can also see some clouds across portions of Cuba and sections of the Bahamas as well. And we can see some clouds associated with that other tropical wave across the Eastern Caribbean. And we can also see a kind of curvature to the upper level clouds that is what we refer to as an upper level low pressure where the in the upper levels of the atmosphere the winds are spinning anti-clockwise and it is a this tropical wave and upper level low pressure that's going to be responsible for bringing some amount of rainfall to sections of jamaica on sunday we can also see that we have that tropical wave right there off the coast of africa just as we saw on the surface map we'll be talking more about the weather across the caribbean later on Let's focus our attention on what took place across Jamaica for today. So as you saw, there was no video uploaded yesterday for today. No posts were made for the forecast for Saturday. And that's due to the fact that today was going to be quite a sunny, hot day. No forecast whatsoever. And it's, as usual, when there's no forecast, that definitely means that it's going to be quite a sunny day. Little to no activity whatsoever. And we saw the same on the infrared satellite images. Only a few afternoon thunder showers right there up to the west of Jamaica. And we can see it better on the Doppler radar images right now with that moderate rainfall that is represented by the green and the yellows and oranges that represent the strong rainfall off the west coast of Jamaica. If we take a look at the temperatures right now, we have 84 to 80. 82 degrees Celsius from Kingston to Montego Bay and uh, that's in about let's say about 26 to 28 degrees Celsius at most and as usual as the night progresses these temperatures should be getting lower as related to tomorrow's temperature you can see that there's some kind of a disagreement with the temperature forecast by the urine GFS models both models are showing 18 day on Sunday which is actually 1 p.m. on Sunday However, we can see that the year is showing more in the way of yellows and oranges that represent at least 1 to 2 degrees Celsius above normal. While the GFS is showing more in the way of average temperatures. We see the zeros as we can see by the key at the right hand side. So hopefully we get the average temperatures. We know the average temperatures for the month of August across Jamaica is about 91 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about the equivalent of 32 degrees Celsius. So if the GFS is right, 91 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Celsius. While if the euro is right, we should be getting anywhere from 32 to 34 degrees Celsius at most. If we take a look at the, yes, the siren dust forecast. Right now, there's actually some siren dust affecting the island. Some slight hazy weather. But what we don't want to see is that darker shade of brown as we see across the main development region for 2 p.m. on Sunday. And this is actually pushing its way westward. Earlier this month or late last month, we actually made a, f a prediction stating that that was the final major plume of dust. But it seems like Africa is about to send us a quite a robust plume, a very vigorous plume of sour and dust that could, you know, bring about some very hazy skies, you know, maybe trigger some asthma, some sinusitis and other respiratory illnesses in some people when that gets to the Jamaica area about midweek. But for tomorrow, we can see that we still have some slight haze weather, not that robust like what we see across the main development region for tomorrow but it can still do some slight damage. 
taking a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow both maps from the year and the gfs are showing 12 pm on sunday and we see that for the most part jamaica is going to be surrounded by 1.5 meter wave height and that's due to the fact that we're going to be having more of an easterly flow across the island for the low level wind averaging 20 knots at most however we can see those darker shades of blues right there across sections of some southern parishes and what usually happens you usually have that daytime heating that brings about some amount of afternoon convection that daytime heating contributes to that diurnal convection that afternoon thunderstorms so the low level clouds are going to be building transforming themselves into cumulonimbus clouds and then in turn bring about some amount of afternoon thunderstorms especially across some southern parishes and the wind shear maps from the year and the gfs malls for 18 day on sunday 1 pm on sunday actually showing the wind shear coming in more from the east or the east northeast so definitely more in the way of that rainfall across sections of some southern parishes let us take a look at the precipitation forecast the rain forecast for tomorrow so we can see that as early as 4 a.m eastern standard time which is actually 3 a.m jamaica time we see some blues where do we see it across sections of some northeastern parishes so maybe sections of saint mary portland even sections of eastern saint thomas might get in on some of that early morning rainfall and we see that on both the year and the jfs malls only that when both maps are showing the same thing like this the chances of it actually happening are much higher skipping ahead to about let's say this is 2 p.m eastern standard time which is actually 1 p.m jamaica time we start to see more of the blues that represent rainfall spreading from the east to the central and western portion of the island so this is 1 p.m and we see that both the year and the jfs malls that show the blues that represent rainfall across sections of some eastern central and western parishes especially on uh, the south coast as we see on the euro mall and if we even skip ahead to about 4 p.m eastern standard time which is actually 3 p.m jamaica time we see much of the same taking place especially across central and western and southern parishes in jamaica so definitely some rainfall in store for sections of saint thomas sections of kingston and saint andrew saint catherine clarendon manchester saint elizabeth and sections of westmoreland definitely going to be getting in on some rainfall if the rainfall is going to be um, happening across sections of some of the northern parishes in Jamaica is going to be in inland areas so maybe the hilly interior areas right there close to the border of the southern parishes and if we actually take a look at the accumulated precipitation forecast by both the Euro and the GFS malls we can see that yes we're indeed in for some amount of rainfall across the island for tomorrow the GE Euro is showing up to 0.3 of an inch of rainfall the GFS showing less than that either way. We're definitely in for some amount of rainfall across the island, stretching all the way from the east to the western portion of the island. And we're indeed grateful that we're going to be getting in on that rainfall, considering that we're in the month of August. We usually receive an increase in the rainfall when we're coming in from July into August. So hopefully it puts somewhat of a dent in the hydrological drought that we're currently experiencing across the island. All right, so that's it for the forecast across Jamaica. Let's focus our attention on the rest of the Caribbean. So we can see that that tropical wave is bringing that rainfall to sections of the Eastern Caribbean, sections of the Windward and Leeward Islands, even sections of the ABC Islands got on some amount of rainfall for today, Venezuela, sections of Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Honduras, Nicaragua, the Yucatan Peninsula, Guatemala got on some amount of rainfall. And if we take a look at the Northeastern Caribbean, Doppler radar images from today. We know the Doppler radar images show the actual rainfall as opposed to satellite images. We can have cloud cover over an area, not necessarily rainfall, but the Doppler radar images show us the exact location of the rainfall. We know the greens represent moderate rainfall, the yellows represent heavy rainfall, and we indeed got that across the Leeward Islands today, anywhere from Dominica northward, Guadeloupe, Montserrat, Antigua, and Barbuda, Anguilla, sections of St. Bart, St. Martin, the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, sections of Puerto Rico, and sections of the Dominican Republic. We definitely got in on some amount of rainfall for today. And even if we take a look at the Barbados radar, we can see that rainfall across sections of Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, Grenada. We can see some passing one or two showers into sections of Trinidad and Tobago. And we can also see some rainfall coming in to sections of Barbados, eastern Barbados as well at this time.
if we take a look at the wider view of Doppler radar images, we can see a lot of rainfall right there associated with that trough across sections of northwestern Cuba, sections of the Bahamas, sections of Nicaragua associated with that tropical wave, Honduras as well, sections of Guatemala, sections of Belize, and sections of the Yucatan Peninsula, just like what we mentioned earlier on the satellite images. If we take a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow, we can see anywhere from average to slightly above normal temperatures across the Caribbean region for tomorrow. This is 18 on Sunday, which is actually 1 p.m. on Sunday. However, we do see that way above normal temperatures right there across the northern portion of the main development region, not to mention sections of the United States. If we take a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow, we can see that both maps from the year and GFS are showing 12 p.m. on Sunday. And we do see that we're going to be having 1.5 meter wave height at most. However, we do see some purples and reds that represent maybe 2 meter wave heights or more, especially to the far south of Jamaica and Haiti and to the east of the Leeward Islands. And that's due to the fact that we're going to be receiving more in the way of a 20 knot wind across the majority of the Caribbean basin. However, wherever we see that yellow, that represents up to 25 knot wind. If we take a look at the precipitation forecast, we can see some amount of rainfall in the forecast for sections of Florida, the Bahamas, Cuba, those areas that are already getting rainfall right now. If they're not already getting it right now, they're definitely going to be getting in on that rainfall before 10 p.m. on Sunday. And we do see more rainfall in store for sections of the Windward Islands, sections of Guadeloupe southward, Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, Barbados, sections of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago. We don't see much in the way of rainfall for sections of French Guyana or Suriname, but we do see it for sections of Guyana, Venezuela, sections of Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Honduras, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Guatemala, Belize, and the Yucatan Peninsula. And we see that on both the year and the JFS malls. And we even see some in store for sections of Cuba and the Cayman Islands. I wonder that when they show the same thing like this, the chance of protection happening are much higher. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.